Welcome back to our Global High Tech Solutions Kids Playwright Channel on Lecture 17. Before you started this lecture, I highly encourage you to complete previous lecture related to this course. Let's get started and jump on the topics. So today we'll be discussing about parallelism and shared in test execution. How to execute our test case parallelly in a multiple browser, in a multiple instance like mm. Google Chrome, Firefox, Edge, Safari, stuff like that. And also in a multiple machine like Windows, yes. Macs. Stuff like that. So let's get started into our work. Um, so we can do a parallelism in a many different ways. So we'll go, I'll take you to the um, the playwright website. So this is the main website describing about parallelism and sharing. So we can configure the parallel uh, parallelism in a config file. This is what we talked about in a test dot config inside the config file. And also we can parallel using the workers. So we can limit to the workers, then we can do that. And we can also disable the parallelism. We can parallelize the test in a single file, like the in a single test case. We can use serial mode, right? We can um, share the test case between multiple machine, and also limit failure and fail first. Like we can we can retry uh, many times if it is failures. Worker index and parallel index. So let get into our code. And let's see how we can execute. So this is pretty simple. Like if we go to the configuration file, as I mentioned to you earlier, we can execute our test case, a single test case, um, in a multiple browser, and also by default. How do we do that? So let's go ahead and execute a single test. Uh, we'll be executing a single or two test, not all of the test. Let's say we'll be skipping this this one. This test test dot skip. So this is the describe. As you see, this is the describe. This is the describe block. So we'll be skipping the test itself, right? Now instead of doing that, we can just limit to one one test over here. Let's see if it is running or not. Let me show you if it is running as expected. npm run test. It should be up and running. Three tests. Three test one workers. Take a look. So this is mm, be careful on the text, right? So three test using one workers. So this is what we're talking about. Let's remove this one, get link text. I don't need that. Test dot skip. Let's put test dot skip. So we remove this. Now, if I do over here inside the config file, fully parallel. So there is another keyword called fully parallel, which is I don't have it over here, but we can just export or we can just copy and paste from the website. Let's go back, which is called a fully fully parallel. So fully parallel to, if you using these fully parallel to in the up, all the way up of the test here. So you are many, you are meaning that by default playwright, it will execute in a parallel mode. Let's go ahead and see. So you see before three tests using one workers. Let's see the it is extending or increasing the worker or not. npm run test. There you go. Three tests using three workers. Chromium, Chromium, and the last one is skipped. Right? So all of them are Chromium browser. So if you do that fully parallel to, it will parallelly execute all the test cases. But let's make sure over here, you are removing that fully parallel true and 
adding more workers so in order to adding more workers let's go up so th this is our workers workers right export default will be using a workers another one this one workers equal process dot environment so this is a two workers over here let's see let's run now three test using one workers so this is only for ci cd as you see the process environments dot ci right now if i also execute here Uh, I'm going to be using the workers in a different mode in from the package.json file. So I'll be using three workers, npm run test, which is a test parallel. Let's see, from the script file, npm run, run test parallel. So that's mean it should be three. So right now it's a three test using one worker. So that's mean also it is not working, right? but however if you go to the config file so that's been fully parallel it's it is working by default and also inside the project if you turn that off take off the command and using the firefox and wipe kits which means safari this is the firefox this is a safari version let's run it npm run test And now you can see there is a nine test using three workers. How cool it is, right? So three workers meanings, this is the one browser instance, one browser instance, and one browser instance. So they make it multiple, three multiply three, nine. So nine tests running in a parallel in a Chrome, WebKit, and Firefox. Also, you can use the test against mobile viewport. You can use the mobile Chrome, mobile Safari, mobile version of it, right? So that's been three to five. You see, right now it's a 15 test using four workers. Wow, that's fantastic, right? How cool it is. This is never going to be accomplished with any other autom test automation tool like as a Cypress or Java Selenium or anything we talked about, it, right? So this is the Edge browser. Let's not to do that with the mobile Safari. Let's come in this one using mobile Chrome, then using using Edge browser. Let's use this. Now, 15 tests using four workers, okay. So, you see that the, the one of them, which is the mobile Chrome, is not working because of I did not install packages. You have to install the packages by just on npm i. It will install rest of the packages, okay. Now, this is how you execute in parallel execution in using a playwright configuration file hope it will help you out in your project in your real project thanks so much for watching this lecture stay tuned for upcoming lecture for rest of the course thank you